What's going on, friends? I'm out here at Horseshoe Point and the Olympic Arena. Now, whether it's actually Olympic size, I don't freaking know. I don't know anything about this stuff. I just seen it pop up in Patea News and thought, well, that's something a little different. I don't know anything about raising horses or taking care of horses, but I do know from what I've heard and from what I've seen, they say it's pretty expensive. Horseshoe Point is a riding school, if I'm not mistaken. From what I see right now, it's a lot of youngsters. See, everybody's wearing white. This event was three days, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. I actually came out here yesterday, but by the time I got here, they were already finished. And so the gentleman at the gate told me to come back today and they could probably let me in. And they have a schedule. It looks like eight o'clock is Horseshoe Point Dressage. The jumping doesn't start until two o'clock in the afternoon. Y'all know I like to ride my bicycle. There's a company called Cask. They make bicycle helmets. I never knew that they made helmets for horseback riding but there's a rep out here selling them. Learn something every day. I think they have a cafe here. I seen signs back that way pointing to restaurants. And I also remember reading in the news article that the Horseshoe Point Cafe would be open for those who wanted to try it out. So I think I'm gonna get footage of this and then, I don't know, around noon, I'll go find something to eat. All right, friends, I just got done watching the walk trot and the dressage events. I don't think they're gonna start the jumping until after two o'clock, so. I came on over here to the cafe. I think I'm gonna get something to drink, maybe something to eat. Read my book for a little bit. So, these young ladies here, whipping up some stuff in the cafe. What do I want? Spaghetti carbonara. I think I'm just gonna stick with what I know. Kao kai jiao mu sap. Kao kai jiao mu sap. Chai. Nung gap. I drink Coke. Ah, okay. Nam Kang Cup. Ah, okay. Cup on cup. Okay. Bow's lady whipping it up right there. Conchu or I? Conchu or I? Two one. One. One now. Okay, two feel. Two like her. Feel. Matagnai. 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 They're telling me I speak a lot of Thai. I'm like, no, I don't. That looks like that's gonna be yummy. I'm hungry too. The only thing I've eaten all day is a mango. I bought a fresh mango from Rompo Market last night for 35 baht, so about a dollar. I've been eating at the market a lot more and what I'm noticing immediately is my weekly budget is stretching a little bit further. <laughs> I know that if I eat at the markets and you eat Thai food, etc., you're going to save money versus going to all these other restaurants that kind of cater to tourists and to Westerners. I didn't realize how much you save until I started going on a super regular basis. I got myself a pork Thai omelet there over some rice and a Coke. Let's see what he's talking about. Just the way that egg cut apart like that, this thing looked like it's good. Let's see. Hmm. Yes, sir. Oh, that's good. Well, folks, it's about 20 minutes after one. I finished eating, read some of my book for a little bit, watched some YouTube videos. The jumping part of the event is really the reason why I came out here. I kind of like to see that. The dressage and the trotting, well, I mean, it's just watching horses walk around, really. It's really not that big of a deal. When you look at the schedule, it says that the jumping is supposed to start at 2 o'clock. But when I was at the arena, the announcer said that it might not be till 3 o'clock. This jumping event is not going to be like anything you might see on ESPN or anything like that because from what I've read, the height of the barriers is not going to be very high at all. I think it's because most of the riders are younger and they're just learning how to ride. All right, friends, the jumping event, it was supposed to start at two o'clock, but they held off and they started it at four. So first they bring out the lead ponies, basically little kids jumping over a real short barrier led by a trainer and then they had the unassisted jumping. Those kids were a little bit older, but still they kept the barriers low. Barrier number three, it was just a single row, but now they added the second row. So I don't think it changed the height, but it changed the distance that the horse has to jump. I'm looking at the schedule and I'm wondering if the second half of the jumping event, maybe they'll put the barriers up really high. I don't know. The only way to find out is for me to stay out here. <laughs> I'll keep the tape rolling for y'all. A little random fact while we're waiting on them to start the next class of jumpers. My name, Philip, 
which is spelled with two L's. It comes from the Greek and it means lover of horses or fond of horses, whatever that means. Does that mean that's why I came out here to this event? I don't know. I think this is one of the prettier horses in the show. Man, I missed that one. She, she just got thrown off the horse. She was going over this barrier right here and the horse stopped, he didn't want to go. So she turned around, come back, he jumped that one. When she got to number nine, the horse just stopped again and she went flying over the top, hit the barrier. She's all right though. It's like they say, the prettier they are, the more trouble they are. <laughs> Number one now. Yeah. <laughs> I will say that this resort, it kind of seems to be a shell of its former self. The grounds are huge and it appears that at one time this was a really nice place, but it seems to have been run down, neglected maybe a little bit. This is the lobby or reception. There's nobody here. Someone who had money to burn or just a large amount of money to invest could probably turn this place back into something really, really nice. Like right here behind the camera, there's a basketball court, but it's old. The concrete's kind of cracked up. The rims need to be replaced, etc. There's a big open field out there. They could maybe put soccer fields or rugby or whatever. I think there was tennis courts here somewhere. I seen a sign that said something about paintball. So there used to be some stuff out here, but now it just looks like the riding school and maybe they have stables where people can keep the horses. I don't know. I really haven't found anybody that I could talk to to really give me a little bit more in-depth explanation as to what's going on here, but it looks like this place used to be pretty nice. All right, friends, that's the end of this event day. So now I believe I'm headed back to Pattaya. I'm probably gonna go to Rompo Market, get myself something to eat, and then I'm gonna do something that I really shouldn't do, which is go to Fat Bunny and get some ice cream. Cause I'm a fat boy. You want some good ice cream, go to Fat Bunny. I can't remember the name of the company that they get their ice cream from, but it's a place in Bangkok. I'm telling you, man, it is so good. They have cookies and cream and salted caramel. I get three scoops of the cookies and cream and one scoop of the salted caramel. And I get it back to my room. I kind of let it melt a little bit. I like to eat it when it's almost like soft serve, but I mix it all together, the Oreo with the salted caramel. Oh my God, it's so good. Sit back, throw on a Netflix series, and I'm chilling for two hours.